Hi there, and welcome to my 2004 Yellowstone Gulfstream. It is a 33 foot uh, fifth wheel. Um, nothing wrong with it, just um, kids outgrew it and it is time to move on. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and sell it. And I'm asking 17,000 for it. Um, uh, just put this new um, aluminum kit encased uh, awning on it. And it's got lighting outside. Um, there's the furnace for the heater inside. There's a television mount for uh, outdoor flat screen TV and a electrical uh, outlet right there. Um, actually at one point had a pretty large uh, television out here for games and whatnot. Uh, the water heater is electric as well as uh, propane. So you've got both options to run and the refrigerator service store. There is a rear garage storage unit in the back here. So it does have a small area. We used it for our motorcycle gear and um, you know, kind of chairs and just stuff we didn't want to get dirty on the inside. And then you just easily vacuum out this carpet comes out of here. You can shake it, shake it down and uh, I've got it plugged in right now to my 30 amp connection. Um, here's the umbilical cord right here. Um, it's got a super slide, so the slide encompasses the queen size sofa sleeper and the dinette set. And um, here's the water inlet. Under here is our 7,000 watt Marquis Onan generator. It's an Emerald series, so it is the expensive um, quiet series. And it's got two five gallon tanks, so it'll last you quite some time, at least a week before you have to worry about fueling. It's got two battery banks. It's got a six volt system and a 12 volt system so if you ever were to drain the 6 volts you've always got the 12 volt isolated to charge the 6 volts and then that's your LP uh, 2 bottle 7.5 gallon each so 15 gallon total on the and that's kind of the you know the front view of it um, you're welcome to the fifth wheel hitch. It's not a real fancy one, but it does work. I can give it to you. I'm willing to deliver this anywhere in the country. So um, please keep that in mind. It'll be a very, very hassle-free, pain-free delivery for you. Uh, the roof was done about five years ago. So no, no leaks, no issues with water. Uh, Recocked all of the fittings and grommets around the air conditioning and the satellite dish and antennas so I don't have any problems with that plenty of tons of storage in this unit it's got one of these on each side so all your chairs and beach gear and surfboards and um, it's got a pretty large bumper on it so your bikes can go in the hitch um, your bike rack can go in the hitch um, I put my motorcycle on here um, so lots of possibilities uh, I keep this at my house so I'm able to stay on top of the maintenance you know quite a bit um, so we'll just go ahead and go inside now and um, take a peek at the inside no 
rips or tears on the screen. Had that done years ago. Um, my daughters used to poke their heads out through it when they were babies, but um, fixed it. And moving into the coach, you've got the sofa sleeper and the slide. Um, super comfortable. The dinette actually drops down into a bed as well. So there's an additional sleeping spot here. Um, I've got Roku on, but um, it does have a direct TV satellite dish on the Kingdom. So it's an automatic, not in motion satellite dish, but it is a um, automatic finder. So you just uh, land. And as soon as you land, you put this on hit search and away it goes and in about a minute or two it finds a satellite and you're in business uh, the sound system although antiquated um, does work we just use wireless Bose um, you know speaker and that seems to work out just fine I'll get to the main bedroom in a minute let's um continue back here toward the salon there's plenty of storage again underneath the there's drawers underneath here so those all work really well and under the dinette there's you know storage you've got storage in your cabinetry storage for your kitchen um cooktop, microwave, um, Dometic refrigerator, freezer, refrigerator combo. So plenty of room inside. Um, I keep it, you know, kind of well stocked. And has more than enough room for, you know, my family and I would pack it up and take off and always worked out really well. Never had an issue storage it does have the monitoring um, built into the tanks so you know exactly where you are on your battery your freshwater galley uh, holding tank um, holding tank in the bathroom and then your black water so you've got um, you know all of those on there ready to go for you a little wine rack and built-in coffee maker so uh, we don't use it much because we use the espresso machine, but it is available. And the bunkhouse has two twin beds built in. So two twins, one on the top, one on the bottom. And um, the each bunk has its own window and little um, area. I'm 6'4", and I can sleep in here. I got a crunch you know, sleep, in, I can't fully extend with my arms and legs, but I can sleep just fine. I used to sleep in here when the kids were little, I'd put them to sleep in here. And worked out fine. There's a TV in here as well as drawers and some additional space for storage. Um, we always kept just extra stuff in here. Whenever we went cross country, we would do that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the bunk room that's, if you have kids, <laughs> it's invaluable because you can put the kids in there, put them to sleep, and then you have a little bit of salvation over here. And uh, older entertainment sound system, again, we don't use it much, probably needs to be upgraded, but honestly, with Bluetooth technology and phones, you're better off just using a, we just put a Bose uh, wireless right here under the TV and that works out really well so um, the main bed is a queen size bed there's more than enough uh, closet space for you in here uh, drawers in here his and her drawers 
so you should have um, shouldn't have any issues with um, keeping your clothing and uh, towels and everything. I did add a trace inverter so it converts the 12 volt to 110 for the television and the smaller appliances, computers, lights, um, all that stuff works. It's not going to run your air conditioner or anything, you know, that's really big, but, um, it's invaluable when you don't want to run the generator just to make a quick cup of coffee or something like that. Uh, this is the um, insert the in to bring in the slide. And you can see that it's coming in right now. And it really will basically uh, double the size of this interior space in here. And it's, uh, I just had it uh, maintenance and greased and they did the gears and everything just to make sure that everything's tight you know it doesn't get used very much but it's always a good idea to keep it you know, keep it maintenance and whatnot and you can see it's working just fine uh, this is the, the uh, dual therm air conditioning and furnace, so it all ties in together. There's got a thermostat, so you just set it at 70, and whether you're in the, uh, in the Keys in Florida or whether you're in the Badlands in South Dakota, it keeps it right at about 70 degrees, so it'll be really, really functional for you. I also piped in the Onan generator off and on switch so that it, you, know, you can start and stop the generator. You don't have to go outside and pull a cord or start and stop it. It's Everything's done right here remotely. Um, I took the uh, analog um, meter out because it was clicking and put in the digital one so you don't hear it you know, on the meter. And that works out really well. Um, again, you've got a queen size bed in here that's very comfortable. It's not a, it's a Sealy. So I upgraded the mattress a while back. Um, plenty of storage up top. There's also a nightstand on each corner. And then I did um, upgrade the plugs. So you've got USB outlets on either side so that um, you can charge your phone and tablets and whatnot while you're asleep. And that's throughout the coach. Uh, we did put in a flat screen TV here again with Roku, but you'll see, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Everything has the coax piped in for the direct TV. So you're welcome to use the coax for the direct TV if you want to put in a box here but honestly with the internet channels and um, streaming services you know not many people do that anymore uh, the day and night shades and the window dressings were an afterthought when we had the coach built so um, so you've got the day and the night shades we spend a lot of time in the desert so um, you know, it's nice to be able to black things out, you know, when you sleep in and whatnot. Medicine cabinet, sink, um, storage, again, storage, more storage. You can never have enough when you're on the road. Uh, bathroom, uh, I had the uh, toilet and wand all upgraded not too long ago. Um, but you can see the toilet. Works just fine. Shower, showering area. Um, I'm tall, so I had this put in when I right when I first bought it, so I could stand up. And it's got a skyline in it, and uh, you know the shower's functional. It's pretty large for a for a coach this size, but obviously if we had kids, so we needed a bathtub. So um, we had to have a bathtub for the babies when we were just starting out. 
So some of the newer coaches don't have that because they're for adults, but if you have kids, you know that that's what you need. Um, other than that, um, I can send you any documentation. The title's free and clear. Um, I'm willing to take some payments uh, if, if that's what it takes. Um, I'd like to purchase a new one, so I can't do that until I get rid of this because I can't fit another one on the property. So um, the sooner that this sells, the better off that I am. So um, thank you guys very much. My name's Tom. Please contact me, uh, 562-201-6539. And um, looking forward to, uh, you know, to uh, finding this unit a new home and a new place. And uh, hate to see it go, but it's time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.